The following is a production of Learfield Sports. As ties go, last weekend's 2-2 and 3-3 draws against Northern Michigan were pretty exciting, especially in the third period both nights at the Kohl Center. We'll recap Wisconsin's season opening series and look ahead to Boston with the Badgers head coach, Mike Eves. I'm Brian Posick, the radio voice of Wisconsin hockey, and the Badger Hockey Digest starts right now. The freshman, stick handling, looking. Bessie wants a one-timer. Cunning back door. Rockwood right side. Pitched it out. Bessie now Cunning one-timer. Scores! Oh, the Badgers pull even with three goals! The Badger Hockey Digest is brought to you by Charter Communications. Joined by Badgers head coach Mike Eves. And Mike, I think when fans leave an arena, they'd rather not see a tie. But the way you came back and forged a pair of ties in your season opening series against Northern Michigan, I think that bodes well for this near future, don't you? Well, it sure creates a lot of energy and it displays a little bit of uh, quality you like to have with a group of players that's resilient. So they didn't give up, they continued to battle. And especially Saturday night, uh, being down by three, that doesn't happen very often coming back from that. And, um, I don't know what the attendance was on Saturday night, but it sure felt like the building was full when that tying goal went in, and uh, it was it was a real good feeling. And it's interesting talking to some friends that were here uh, on Friday night. Even after they left, they they walked out outside the Coal Center where uh, where they were, and there was a group of people standing there singing varsity. You know, <laughs> so I mean, people were excited about it, and, and and the little indications that that kind of energy is be creating. Yeah, early in the season is a good thing for us. Yeah, Saturday night, the Badgers down 3 nothing going to the third, and they'd get a power play goal from Ryan Wagner. And then Jed Soloway roofed one to make it 3-2. And from that point on, the fans that were at the Kohl Center were on their feet. And then you get a five-on-three power play, a full two minutes, which yeah. you rarely see, yeah. and you were able to convert with a lot of patience. It's interesting. It was our energy line that went on the ace and actually drew two penalties, and then we, we were on the power play. and. Even early in the season, we had done some work on our five-on-three, but oftentimes you're, you're curious and interested to see how the group will do under the gun of being in front of 10,000 people and the, you know, a, a tying goal on the line. And they were, they were very mature and did a great job controlling the puck, didn't go on, off on their own page, stayed to the script, took what was uh, given, and, and finally Luke uh, Cunning just hammered a puck. that He had hit a couple earlier that were blocked, but this one found its way back to the twine. Boy, Luke can really shoot the puck, can he? This is one of his gifts, and, uh, you know, uh, we were trying to get the puck to him. Both him and Bess are back there on the five-on-three, and they can both bring it. And in this case, it was uh, young Mr. Coonan who got the bomb. Yeah, and, and with Bessie and Cunning on the same power play, too, both are, are snipers. That, that's tough to defend, isn't it? It is, and uh, when they're looking for one, you know, you go the other way. So you want to try to keep them off balance. And uh, so we had a sequence that we were looking at doing, and they, they ran through it, and they just kept going back to what they wanted to do. And, and in the end, we got the puck in the right guy's hands, and uh, Mr. Cunnan was able to blast it in. Yep. On Friday night, the Badgers uh, rallied for a 2-2 tie on Grant Bessie's goal with 42 seconds to play. Grant is the Badgers' top returning goal scorer. He was Mr. Hockey in Minnesota prior to joining the Wisconsin Badgers. And this past summer, Grant took part in the Anaheim Ducks development camp. Uh, you know, it was a good experience. It always is. You know, I've been going out there. This was my third year out there, and it's always a, always a good test, you know, kind of see what other players, you know, in different leagues and at different ages bring to the table. So, yeah, overall, it was, uh, it was nice to get out to Southern California for a week, and, uh, yeah, it was, it was good to, be, uh, to play some good hockey out there. Uh, they said just keep, you know, doing what I'm doing. You know, they, they interjected a few things they thought I could do better, um, you know, getting to pucks and using my feet a little bit more to, you know, spin off guys and stuff. But... Other than that, they, uh, they were pretty, pretty happy with where I was headed. Ever since I was a little kid, obviously you dream about playing you know, at the, the highest level, you know, getting paid millions of dollars to do what you love. And living in Southern California wouldn't be too bad either. But uh, yeah, obviously it's a, you know, it's a dream of mine. It's something that I'm uh, gonna continue to work towards. I know Grant desires to be a pro and he certainly got the shot to be a pro and he's so free and easy on the ice. It almost looks like he's not trying at times, doesn't it? Well, I think that's what it looks like, but he is. And, uh, you know, between us and what uh, Anaheim has shared with him from there, having him at those camps in the summertime, he's aware of the things that he needs to improve in. And, you know, his ability to shoot the puck 
uh, is his strength. Uh, but if he wants to play at that level, he's going to have to, you know, get better in other areas because there are a lot of guys at that level that can shoot the puck like Grant. So he's very much aware of that. And now he's going into his junior year, and this is a big year for him. If he can get these other areas of his game to rise to a higher level, he's going to help us win a championship, but he's also going to spring, springboard himself to where he wants to go personally. At the end of last week's Digest, we teased you about Wisconsin's goaltenders. Mike Eaves will tell us about Wisconsin's goaltenders when we come back. Game night. That magical weekly gathering where lands are conquered. And you get trapped in the dungeon that is your bedroom. But you've got blazing fast spectrum internet. So Kevin and his friends have enough bandwidth to play together and you have enough left over to find a new apartment. Get 60 megabits of dragon slaying speed with Spectrum Internet. Where will it take you? This is Andrew Zielsdorf. He plays hockey. This is leukemia. It's bad business. This is Andrew's oncology team. They love Andrew. They don't like leukemia. And thanks to them, Andrew is now cancer free. Booyah. They are the world-renowned physicians, scientists, and nurses at the American Family Children's Hospital, pioneers in pediatric cancer care. UW Health. Remarkable. Well, last Friday night, senior Adam Miller made his first collegiate start, made 32 saves and a 2-2 tie. And then Saturday night, true freshman Matt Jerusik made his first collegiate start and stopped 22 shots in a 3-3 tie against Northern Michigan. What did you think of your two goaltenders? I would uh, describe the beginning of their games as both the same. They were they were nervous. They uh, and the reason that you could tell is Adam didn't get out of his net at all in the first period to stop any pucks that were rung around the boards, and Maddie was uh, playing too deep in his net, which is uh, oftentimes uh, young goalies will do that when they're not uh, when they're not at their highest confidence level. So, but. In saying that, I'll also say as the game went on, uh, they got more comfortable. Maddie was out challenging, made some good saves, and, and uh, actually in the third period on Friday, Adam had to come up with quite a few saves uh, to keep the game what it was and allow us the chance to tie it up. So overall, I think they would both like better starts, uh, but at the end of the game, if they can improve on that this week and and use that to springboard themselves into this weekend out in Boston. That'd be good for us. Yeah, this weekend, a couple of tough, uh, challenging games against two of the best programs in the country. Boston College under longtime coach Jerry York, who's coming up on 1,700 games and almost 1,000 wins. Uh, BC with a very good recruiting class, Jeremy Brocco and uh, Colin White up front. Uh, they've got a very good goaltender in Thatcher Demko. And then Boston University last year made it to the national championship game. They don't have Jack Eichel anymore, but they've got uh, some good players in Danny O'Regan and Matt Grizzlick, uh, defensemen. So uh, they're two good teams. Are they two different teams that you'll be facing this weekend? Uh, I don't think they'll be very much different. They, the, their styles might vary a little bit, but their level of ability and their work ethic will be very similar. And uh, we'll be playing on a small sheet, uh, sheet for the first time, so that'll be an that first period on Friday night uh, will be an adjustment for us. But we get to practice at the Le Bon, which is a smaller sheet, so we, we'll have that going for us. But the, the games will be at a high level, and and, and, and that's how you become better. Uh, there's that old battle when you create a schedule do you want to play good teams or do you want teams that maybe aren't as strong as others so you get some wins under your belt uh, in the long run you want to play the best teams because playing against the best teams makes you better and we want to play get back to playing championship level hockey again and one way to do that is play those good teams i'm looking forward to it good luck thanks Brian. sure that's uh, mike eaves wisconsin at bc friday night no television. You can hear the games, though, on Badger Sports Network or badgersportsnetwork.com. Coverage at 5.30. Same for Saturday night against Boston University. For Mike Eves, I'm Brian Posick. Thanks for watching the Badger Hockey Digest.